settled now and off and racing. And they race away over this extended mile and a quarter. The ESL Export Maiden Stakes underway. They're coming down the home straight for the first time. Castle in the Sand is the pace setter in the hands of Oshin Murphy. He seems very happy to be out there taking the field up the home straight with Far Lamour and gallantly white faced chestnut on the outside in third. Eben Zabil is next to the rail in the blue colours. And then a length and a half to Liam Swagger. Chortles red cap on the rail next. And then the two outsiders, Prince Iago and Sanks to Flicker, as they move away from us and head down the side of the course in this maiden. And being led down there by Oshin Murphy on, on board Castle in the Sand, who's been runner up on four occasions so far. On his outside is Farla Moore. Then on the inside is Gallantly, who started favourite in every start so far in his career. And a, does so again here today. Could it be fourth time lucky? He's just ahead of Liam Swagger as they move towards the five furlong marker on the far side. Eben Zabil and Jim Crowley ahead of Chortle, who's just being squeezed along there by Kieran Schumach. And Sanks to Flicker, who's off the bride at the back, being pushed along as well alongside Prince Iago. So they're past the halfway stage of the race with about seven or eight lengths between first and last. And Oshin till towing them along then on board Castle in the Sand as they move down towards the final three furlongs of the contest. Farla Moore poised on the outside going well. Gallantly, the favourite on the inside for Ryan Moore, the white-faced chestnut. On his outside is Liam Swagger. Evans Abiel on the rail. A wider out then, we've got the red cap of Chortle, who's beginning to make some ground now. Prince Iago has been dropped and tailed off his sacks to flicker. Up the home straight they come, a furlong and a half left to go. And Castle in the Sand is trying to make every yard, still travels strongly as they approach the final furlong. Now Gannantly is in the clear and starts to power home on the outside, together with Liam Swagger. Gannantly now reining in the leader on the inside. And Gannantly is going to come home in style here and make it four times lucky gallantly then for ryan moore and aiden o'brien in second castle in the sand second yet again and liam swagger third well gallantly gets off the mark aiden o'brien and ryan moore around chester uh, this horse is out of a, a, a filly who won the french 1000 guineas so a classic pedigree 